Why well, and Grace, not Will and Grace. <laughs> South Africa's version of Cape Town's version of the moment still, but I'm assuming going national at some stage. Yeah, potentially. So you are the running late club. That's it. And you are about to become Mr. and Mrs. Running Late Club, which yes, is cool. That is so true. congratulations. So you guys are basically running ambassadors, disciples of the sport. Yeah. You love running, you are not professional runners, you're not particularly elite runners, you just people want to take running to the people. I mean, when I put on my under armor, I look at it. I can shoot. And here we go. Look outside there. A whole lot of people having a great job. Yeah. Drinking beer, running in the streets. Now I'm past the murals of this absolute inner core of Woodstock. Yeah. That just make you really feel good when people come around you just out of nowhere. If you're Instagram sites, etc. And you've got a brand with this kind of heritage. Yeah. Powerful brand. Yeah. Which we all know. I mean, honestly, I'm not joking. My first pair of under armors I bought in 2007 wow. at the Marsden Festival. It was, yes. it was naked. Yeah. And there was one shop that had, I bought some shorts. Yeah. I still got them today. Wow. I went under armor super high. Like, yeah. Yeah. way ahead. Quality. But, yeah, when Southern people were still doing poly shorts, yeah. the under armor stuff was around. Wow. It was international, it was expensive. Yeah. But now it's mainstream, it's in South Africa, and it's hot. Yeah. Yes. Hey, what do you guys think? You run a lot. So tell us yeah. about the yeah. ISO Chill range that you're wearing now. Yeah, but exactly what you're saying. I think in terms of quality and what uh, Under Armour pulled off in this garment is, I mean, I was like, okay, is it just going to be another, you know, classic uh, sports gear? Marketing hard, you know, like, not delivering. Yeah, like over promise, under deliver, yeah. but it was actually the other way. And I said to Grace, you're going to be pumped when you get your gear. Huh? Um, it's next level. So yeah, I mean, sometimes I forget that I have it on. And it does take, it legitimately takes the heat out. I mean, it yeah. feels yeah. cool. Yeah. Besides, yeah. I said to you, I think maybe it's just my first round, wow. Yeah. And it continues to do that and yeah. the stuff's amazing. How's the shoe? Yeah. You yeah. can measure your run. I mean, yeah. how's that? Yeah. That's what I'm going to say. It's Next level technology. Yeah. yeah. Super comfy. I was very impressed with these shoes. Um, and yeah, as I was saying earlier, I've had a couple of injuries and I've been struggling with my knee all recent. And running in these shoes was just like a breeze. I was very impressed. And, and Under Armour wasn't known for shoes. Now they're coming with them. They've got a carbon plate shoe. They've got the measurement yeah. tool. I mean, my daughter oh, runs with out of phone because obviously yeah. it's security or whatever. Yeah. And she just goes onto the app, downloads, oh, I've been 8Ks, my stride limit, my wow. foot angle. No, it's crazy. It's wild. Wild. It's wild. It's wild. Yeah. 100 percent I mean I've forgotten my watch once and I'm like, oh okay, no, it's fine. We sorted. It's being recorded. It's it's on the right. Still on Strava. Yeah. Really yeah. ancient company. Well yeah. welcome, thanks for a lovely night to the street. Thank, Thank you so much. Love you to meet you. Cheers. Here we go. Okay. Cheers.